would seem that uh, this is uh, being uh, organised in such a way to make sure that smaller groups um, uh, wouldn't be able to start up. That's what's very concerning about it and why this shutdown of democracy, I'm really concerned about what's happening in Canberra where they're talking about the parliament not even sitting uh, or they're sidelining a lot of important things because of the pandemic. And it's the Flow Morning Show with Wayne and Ricky's joined me. And we're talking about um, some changes that have been muted um, in the federal parliament. John McDonnell, who writes for us uh, from Canberra, locked down at home at the moment. Poor John uh, hasn't been able to write too much from Parliament House. But uh, there's not much happening at Parliament House except the Morrison government introducing um, a what is called a party registration integrity bill. It sounds uh, almost like one of those things that is unimportant but uh, is getting more oxygen than it should. Well, there seems to be a shutdown of democracy happening in Canberra at the moment. You've got the Chief Minister there, Andrew Barr, saying that they shouldn't even be sitting at the moment because of the risk with COVID. And now they're wanting to shut other parties out of being involved in the political process. This bill, John writes at flownews24.com.au, says they're going to triple the number of people you need to register a party to 1,500 people uh, and also regulate whether you can use the word Liberal, Labor or Democrats in your title. This is clearly aimed at the Liberal Democrats, uh, which I was there the last time they tried to have a crack at them. Yeah, interesting because Paul Kelly uh, has pointed out in The Australian uh, on the weekend that the Liberal Party is being attacked from the left and the right. He says independents on the left are siphoning votes away from the Liberals over issues like climate change and now the Liberal Democrats um, are threatening them over their handling of the pandemic. And we hear this um, call even from Conservatives like Tony Abbott for a Royal Commission. Is this uh, heading things off at the past to try and make uh, as fewer a opponents to the government and clearly the Labor Party will benefit from this too um, at the next election. Yeah, I'll talk about Labor in a moment because there was a really interesting thing that happened when I was involved there. But the Liberals have wanted to get rid of the Liberal Democrats for some time because of the brand confusion in Sydney, for instance. That's why David Lionhelm got elected. He got number one on the Senate ticket and then people thought they were voting Liberal when they voted in that box marked A. Uh, and then uh, they've not liked this name and the confusion that happens there. But they're also very very unhappy about Campbell Newman, who's a former Liberal Party uh, Premier in New- in Queensland. Uh, he's going to run for the Liberal Democrats. And so is Ross Cameron, a prominent former Liberal and Sky News presenter as well. So they are really trying to turn the screws on the Liberal Democrats now that David Lionhelm's not in Parliament anymore. And of course, uh, changing, uh, making legislation to uh, outlaw uh, any new parties by effectively making them have 1,500 members to start with. And uh, to get that amount of members is, is not an easy feat. Five 500 members is still a significant number of people in a quorum who agree on a principle who want to take their principle, say, to politics or into the political uh, uh, sphere. It would seem that uh, this is uh, being uh, organised in such a way to make sure that smaller groups um, uh, wouldn't be able to start up. That's what's very concerning about it and why this shutdown of democracy, I'm really concerned about what's happening in Canberra, where they're talking about the parliament not even sitting uh, or they're sidelining a lot of important things because of the pandemic. The interesting one to watch will be Labor. Uh, When I was there in federal parliament involved with a minor party, uh, Labor actually came alongside of us to oppose this bill simply because they were the opposition when it was Malcolm Turnbull's baby. And we had the bizarre situation where I was sitting down with Bill Shorten and Penny Wong talking about, to people we very rarely spoke with otherwise, about opposing this legislation. Because you see, the Greens have now got so large for Labor that they're out of control and they're not going to be affected by changes like this. They can easily drum up 1,500 members. Members. So they may well oppose this simply because it makes um, a little bit of havoc for the coalition. All right, we might have a Democratic Labor Party and a Democratic Liberal Party and more democracy. We just can't have that, can we, in the Parliament? So it looks like that's what the government is moving to shut down. And that is very disappointing uh, for the average Australian looking to uh, have as many different uh, opportunities and different people who represent their views in the Parliament. Thanks, Ricky. We'll talk more a bit later about other matters that are happening in the sphere of federal politics, but also you can see this article from John McDonnell at flownews24.com.au.